I hope you're having a really good time and that you're ready to have some more fun this morning. Well, today is going to be really special because we're thinking about a frog. Can you jump like a frog? What you have to do is if on your hands, your feet like this, on your toes and put your hands in between your knees and then all you're going to do is you're going to jump. Are you ready? Let's do it together. One, two, three, jump! And again, one, two, three, jump! That's right! Now, do you know what noise a frog makes? A frog makes ribbit, ribbit. So this time we're going to jump and we're going to make a noise at the same time. Are you ready? One, two, three, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Well done. So our story is all about a frog and it's called, That's Not My Frog. That's not my frog, its feet are too silky. That's not my frog, its tongue is too rough. That's not my frog, its toes are too shiny. That's not my frog, its spots are too bumpy. That's my frog, its throat is so smooth. I love that story. And today, you're going to make your own frog. Are you ready? Look at that gorgeous frog. We're going to make our own today. And what you're going to need is you will need a paper plate, some green paper, some white paper, some red paper, a green crayon, a black crayon, a beaker to draw around, some glue, a pen or a pencil, some scissors and some sellotape. Now your grown-up will have to help you to do these, but first of all we're going to start with our plate and we're going to colour our plate in green all over. With your crayon that's it, cover all of your plates so that it is green. Oh, you're doing a really good job. All the way around. Try and cover up all of the white bits. And be as careful as you can. Nearly done. There we go. There is my plate and it's all in green, ready for my frog. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make my frog's feet. And to do that, I need to draw around my hands 
on some green paper. So if you put your hand down and ask your grown-up to draw around your hand. There's one. And I need to do it again. So I turn my paper around, put my hand out and draw around my other hand. Next, I need to cut them out. Now, this is a bit tricky, so your grown-up might do this for you. Just to cut the hands out, trying to be really careful that we stay on the lines. There's one. I'm just going to cut out my other one. I'm going to go on to the eyes of my frog. So I need my white paper, my beaker to draw around. Now I'm using this beaker that's got a really large circle because our eyes on a frog are actually really big. So let's draw around the eyes. I need two of them. So if you hold your beaker and your grown-up can draw around it for you. And then we're going to cut them out. there's two. Now, using our black crayon, we're going to put the eyes in the middle, so the black pupil in the middle of the eye, and both of our white circles. So they look a little bit like that. Now let's stick them on. So using your glue, you need to put a big blob of glue on one side, and stick your eyes out. And the same on the other side. These eyes look like that. Now next we're going to draw a really smiley mouse. So use your black crayon and we need to draw a nice smiley mouse on our frog. So that it looks like that. Now frogs have really long curly tongues so we're going to make one. So we need some red paper, just one strip, and your pen or your pencil, and we're going to roll it up. So we just roll the paper around the pen or the pencil, 
and then just leave it a little bit there because that's what we're going to stick down and then basically just slide your pen or your pencil out and you end up with a really curly shape so we're going to stick our tongue into our mouth so we'll put some glue on the back of the tongue on the red piece of paper and we're going to stick it in the mouth of our frog So he ends up with a tongue a bit like that. Now, last of all, we're going to put our hands on our frog, and these become our frog's feet. So turn your frog over, and we're going to put the hands at the bottom. Just use a bit of sellotape to stick them on. so we can see all these fantastic frogs that you make. Are you ready to do some singing? First of all, we're going to sing about a frog. So you're going to have to go on your knees like this. And we're going to have to use the ribbit ribbit. So we're going to jump and we'll ribbit ribbit. And the song goes like this. Ribbit ribbit went the little green frog one day. Ribbit ribbit went the little green frog. Ribbit, ribbit, went the little green frog one day. Ribbit, 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 went the little green frog. So are you ready? And we're going to jump when we say ribbit, ribbit. Are you ready? Ribbit, ribbit, went the little green frog one day. Ribbit, ribbit, went the little green frog. Ribbit, ribbit, went the little green frog one day. Ribbit, 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 went the little green frog. Well done. Now, are you ready to sing? If you're happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, nod your head. Well done. This time we're going to sing Wind the Bobbin Up. So are you ready? Put your arms ready. Ready. Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again, pull. Pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Put your hands up on your knee. Fantastic. And the last thing we're going to sing today is about Miss Polly had a dolly. So put your dolly here. Are you ready? Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick. So she called for the doctor to be quick, quick, quick. The doctor came with his bag and his hat and he knocked on the door with a rat-a-tat-tat. He looked at the dolly and he shook his head. He said, Miss Polly put her straight to bed. He wrote on a paper for a pill, pill, pill. I'll be back in the morning with my bill, bill, bill. Well done. I hope you've had some really good fun this morning. I've had a great time. And we're just going to finish with our prayer before we sing our goodbye song. Are you ready? This week, I pray that God's eyes will watch over you. God's arms will protect you, God's hands will lead you, and God's love will fill your heart. Amen. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye to you all today, all today, all today. Goodbye to you all today, goodbye everyone. And I'll see you next time for another story.